Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help make room for big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that come along and they often do. So welcome, welcome, welcome puzzle buddies to my puzzle room once again and I am super extra excited today. Why, oh, why, oh, why? The most favorite time for most puzzlers, I think, is got to be autumn because it, autumn is like a whole bunch of new kinds of puzzles, cozy puzzles, uh, autumn, fall, leave, landscape, harvest fuzz puzzles, which also lead to the Christmas puzzles. So I thought today I would do a video of all my collection of fall puzzles. So I started getting them together and I thought, oh, that's not too bad. I'm kind of counting them and I'm looking at them like, da, 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 da. like, oh, okay, 20 is pushing it, but I could probably squeeze that and I'll make it too long into a 20 minute video. And then I looked at these puzzles and I forgot to look over here and I realized I probably have closer to 30 or 35 including some Halloween puzzles. So what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, put it down to two sections. And this first section will be focused on all the not Cobble Hill. So part two will be Cobble Hill because that's probably what I have the most of. And then with Cobble Hill, I'll also have the White Mountain and some other ones. And in this section, I think I mostly have bits and pieces, uh, pomegranate, some Gibson's Vermont Puzzle Company. I do have a couple of Halloween, including Cobble Hill at the end, I'll show you, and Buffalo Games. So that's what I'll do, and I probably, I'm hoping this video will take about 20 minutes, and I'll talk about the puzzles, why I like them, um, and uh, most of these are pretty new, and a little bit about the artist, so hopefully you'll come along with this little journey, and uh, actually like to see what I have in my puzzle collection for fall, and I always want to hear what puzzle buddies have or if they have a recommendation for a pop fall puzzle auto puzzle they think I'd like um, I would love to hear it you can leave a message in the comment section here on YouTube I will happily look at it and respond and also on my website smallthoughts.ca I'll also take a take a look there on Instagram blah 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 at smallerthoughts.ca it's a bit different so that's my little promo-y thing. At least I didn't ask you to smash the like or uh, whatever you call it. Uh, hit that like button or share or whatever, they, whatever the YouTubers say. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off with um, the puzzle I'm doing right now, which I think is the best puzzle. When someone asks me what the best puzzle is, I always say the puzzle you're doing right now. So this is the puzzle I'm doing on right now, and I've been on a tear of these kind of puzzles and I don't know what's going on with me. They're by Buffalo Games, and they're all a series of kind of days to remember. So this days to remember is Autumn Memories. And let me see. Oh, Georgia Kovac. Okay, this is Autumn Memories, and I love it. Autumn Memories, and indeed it is. So why I like this, it's kind of that winding down time of autumn where we're at that sad, bittersweet time, leaving the cabin going to that last time at the general store or the, the, the drink by the dock, that kind of thing. So this puzzle's got lots of little, this stuff, gorgeous color palette, by the way. Lots of primary blues, yellows, greens, and then some pops of red with the, with the canoes and the uh, red pickup truck, cursory red pickup truck, as you'll see. Um, gorgeous blue, um, blue azul, blue, blue sky with some interesting gradients. Uh, the little, the house that's glowing, the little people on the dock, and then the kids kind of fishing, and then this little bridge with some colorful flowers that's not maybe showing up as well as it could be. Um, and Buffalo Games comes with a poster, which I love. This image is actually nicer than I thought it would be. Um, I love Buffalo Games. They're more of a budget brand, but I think they're a great value. I like the puzzle snap. I like the fit and love the poster, of course. I like their artists. I think they're a great choice, and that's the puzzle I'm doing right now. As I said, I'm on a whole tear of these little 500. Oh, and these pieces are the smaller than usual, so they're not the big, big pieces. They're kind of the normal puzzle pieces that you would get. So if you're having like the, I think that would be not an 18 by 24, but maybe closer to like a 12 by 12. I'll say right here if I look. Pardon me. It actual size is the puzzle piece right there, but you can't tell by that for the screen, of course. The finished size is not saying. I apologize. Okay, so okay, 21 by 15 inches. So it's a bit smaller than the typical Raven So that's what I'm doing right now, and I love, love, love it. Here's another one by um, Buffalo. Another days to remember. Okay, and 
what's not to love about this one come on come on so this one is hero what's the last name the artist oh it's i just had it the tip of my tongue ah i am really bad at this pardon me hero tanikawa okay so beautiful watercolors I was surprised at the quality and the beauty of this image, to be honest with you. When I first took a look at it, I thought it may be a digitally cartoonish sort of thing, but when I got it open and the, po the, the, and the poster out and started doing it, the colors are stunning. The box doesn't do it justice. I love this puzzle. What did I love about it? <clears throat> Okay, and what do we got here? Pickup truck, of course. I love the jams and the jellies and the interesting textures and the gradients here you can see. I love, 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 and then Canadian Goose, of course, I love like that. Some flowers. Um, I think there's any pumpkins in here. Oh, no pumpkins. There's got to be some corn. Anyway, I would like to do 500 pieces. The same as the other sets. Love this puzzle. And I would do it again, recommend it to anybody. What's my next one? Another Buffalo Games. <laughs> okay. You might detect a theme here. Okay. This is not Days to Remember, but this is Americana Collection from Buffalo Games. So who's the artist here before I lose my train of thought? I think I had a hard time finding the artist for this one. Yes, I did. Art of Edouard. Okay. So if you know about this artist or you was an artist artist, let me know. So this is um, another, what's this one called? Country Star. Okay. And indeed it is. Red pickup truck, of course. A dog. Oh, playing puppies. We finally have some pumpkins here. I love the colors of the, this was shockingly nice to do. I like anything with text in it. So there was lots of interesting text to give me a guide. Some textures here. The beautiful gradients in the sky. I don't know if you can see them. The, uh, what's it got here? Oh, this I figured out was uh, a big hill of potatoes. Some more pumpkins. Coca was there a Coca-Cola sign in there somewhere? Or something like that. Similar cola sign. Little, little country store signs. I loved, oh, there's a chicken there. So, so many wonderful, wonderful things in this fall autumn harvesting puzzle which I also like to do and I wondered if you also did this puzzle I would love to know highly highly recommend I ate it a 10 on that one as well and running out of room let's put it over there okay so next what I'm going to do is I think I will switch to some bits and pieces and I have a fair amount of those so bits and pieces um I believe comes out of the UK but distributed through Canada more traditional images the quality would be similar to, I would say, a, a White Mountain. A um, little bit higher than a Buffalo Games. No um, poster. And a matte, glossy-ish finish. There's a bit of glare. Does, uh, does not come with a poster. Uh, the, the quality's nice. And the images, I love, 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 love. Um, I don't know how readily available they are where you are. Um, they are, for me, pretty easy to get in Canada. But I love these puzzles. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start off in no particular order. It's called Forest Cleaning. Oh, Forest Cleaning. What have I got in my mind? Um, avoiding a lot. That's a bigger thought for another time. So Forest Clearing, and this is Sandy Rosinko. So this is what it looks like, and tell me if that's not the most adorable. This is a new puzzle to me. That is not, whoops, got some wear there. Most adorable puzzle you have ever seen. Okay. The, first of all, the, 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 the details and the illustration um, by the artist Sandy are absolutely beautiful. I think she, I want to say she's out of Long Island, but she's not. Colorado. So Sandy Rosinko is in Colorado and does these beautiful little, little uh, soft earth tone palettes images. This one features a little cabin in the woods with uh, some deer, raccoons, little bunnies. Uh, brooks and streams and twigs and trees and all things to do with the woods winding down in the autumn for the winter slumber and I can't wait to do this puzzle I like everything about it I saw this puzzle and just the, for me it's all about the palette and the image and just just leapt off the page so I love you Sandy Rosinko whoever you are I love your puzzles thank you okay that's another bits and pieces that was also that was 500 i like to do i'm in both the quantity right now so we're doing a lot of 500 puzzles oh okay my favorite artist probably <laughs> my favorite puzzle artist but i'm going to say that a lot is the wonderful marianne vesey and this puzzle 
I got for free. Um, bits and pieces when you place an order will almost always have a thing on. You kind of have to look for it. They don't really um, publish like publicize that much. Is they have a section that says free puzzles, and if you click, it says free 300, three 500, three 1,000, it may even have a 1,500, and then you get to pick, and you kind of think it's a joke, or maybe you're going to get like some weird, well, not to somebody, puzzle, but I just picked, okay, I'll just pick a 500, <clears throat> and I had been looking through for Mary, all these Marianne Vessi puzzles, and thought I bought them all, and then look what I got, I got a Marianne Vessi puzzle called Hens and Chicks, which I think is amazing, I absolutely adore this puzzle, let's see. Just, whoa, I'm really getting some glare on that, eh? So, there we go. Marianne Vessi with the hens and chicks, and indeed it is. Um, her style gets to be fairly familiar, but if you like to do like the Charles Wysocki type, you'll love doing her. She does have a particular style. She does have a particular palette, which I happen to adore. She captures these very nostalgic folk art scenes set in the country, usually very pastoral landscape sitting, almost always a barn or a silo, uh, possibly a tractor or, or wagon, uh, people uh, and images and very uh, community oriented uh, gatherings like weddings or bringing the cows home or something to do with the farm life. I, I love this artist. She's in no, Marianne Bessie, oh my goodness, I know she's in the States, I'll think of it by the end of the uh, of a video, I promise, so this is Hens and Chicks, and I was so delighted to get this, um, I call, I, what makes this a fall puzzle for me, I wasn't sure, as I looked at it, I thought, there's a lot of like the trees, the deciduous trees, missing leaves, clue number one, it's fall, and then I saw some different colors, and the browns, and the oranges, and I thought, oh, fall puzzle, so if you're wondering what my criteria was for the fall puzzles, is they couldn't be winter and they couldn't be Christmas. So if it looked kind of fall, but had a wreath in it or holly or a red cardinal in it, I'll save it for Christmas. And I have a lot of Christmas puzzles. Um, right now I'm gonna stick to fall harvesty kind and um, I think I have two or three Halloween. Okay, next one, another bits and pieces one. This is by Thomas Wood, Bountiful Meadows, and indeed it is. And this is one of my more recent puzzles. I did just this about a month ago. Loved it. I thought the muted tones, I thought, okay, they might be a little bit not as vibrant for me, but when I got to do it, loved it. The textures, the detailing, um, the little hidden surprises, like there's like a beautiful little basket of apples coming here. Um, and some nice referen reference points. No pick up truck. We do have a tractor in the background. Um, rooster, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. There's the bountiful metal farms. Sign, sign-o. Um, weather vane, windmill, I think. And barn. So, and the little rocky gardens with some sunflowers garden. Like, you know what make this perfect? Oh, I was going to say a water pump, but yes, it did have a water pump. I knew it did. Okay, so another great um, puzzle. And the nice thing about bits and pieces, I was you'll be very pleasant but very very great value they were probably in the same price range or less than buffalo this one was probably in the eight nine dollars canadian which i think is like two dollars us so another fantastic puzzle by bits and pieces okay another bits and pieces one that i have not done this is by um a new artist to me but i think it's going to become a favorite bits and pieces 500 and these bits and pieces 500 are the 18 by 24 so the pieces are a bit larger sized. This is called Quilting Room. And it is by Parker Fulton. And she does gorgeous work. Look at that. I think a, a really vibrant, warm palette with those beautiful blues and rich uh, reds and golden yellows. And we've got, what do we got? Stacks and stacks of quilts and a linear arrangement. I like that. Um, a cat, oh my goodness, can you see that? The cat with her kittens and uh, more quilts in progress, some little plants and succulents, a window with a little scene out there, some lamps. Absolutely, positively cannot wait to do this quilt themed puzzle uh, uh, with the artist Parker Fulton, also in the States. And she is, 
I don't know where she's from. Hang on a second. We're getting, I don't know where. I'll think about it and I'll tag it in the thing. I'm sorry, Parker Fulton. I do my best. Um, so highly recommend this one. I haven't done it yet, but I know I'm going to love it. Um, what else have I got here? For a change of pace, we're going to say goodbye to bits and pieces. And this is one of my pomegranate puzzles. So this is a line of puzzles that a lot of their puzzles are focused on fine art, illustrations, paintings, some interesting things, really high quality puzzle pieces. So this is pomegranate and this is uh, Automatsur, I, pardon me if I'm not pronouncing right, Automatsarua by Kawasi Hasuai. And you can see how beautiful and talented the artist is with the stunning, stunning watercolor palette in the uh, the burnt oranges, the, the yellows, the, the amber tones, those golden up against the, the cool blues, got gorgeous cerulean blues and then the browns and burnt umbers and all that fall foliage. Absolutely beautiful. Um, pomegranate really invests in their artwork. That's where they kind of uh, excel is investing in the, in the artwork that they have and then the reproduction and the ink quality is beautiful. Um, I would say better than Cobble Hill and, or even on par with Ra and Ravensburger in my opinion. Um, I think they invest a lot of money into the, into the ink quality. Um, I can see why they don't do a puzzle because it, I can understand that. Um, and then also I love the feel of the puzzle. They have that very thick, you can feel by the weight of the box actually how heavy it is. If you pick up like a 500 piece like this one versus uh, even a Cobble Hill, there's a big difference in the weight. But um, the quality of the piece is a really sturdy, sturdy snap. And of course that silky, soft, buttery, creamy, tactile feel that gives us puzzle lovers that snap, snap that we're all craving. So if you have not done a pomegranate puzzle, highly recommend. If you have, love to hear your feedback on what you think of it, what kind of puzzles you do. I tend to go more towards these, uh, the, 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 art, the, art, the fine art side of things, but they do have much more than that, to be fair. Um, great company, pomegranate. Okay. Um, oh, I have, uh, coming near the end, I have about three or four puzzles left. I have a Ravensburger, which I don't think I've done in the channel. So this is Ravensburger. <laughs> I'm laughing why I like it. Uh, the artist, of course. I mean, I wonder if you can guess who the artist is. Can you believe it? This was a fluke. Somebody actually gave this to me as a gift and did not know how cuckoo cabanas I was for this artist. It's Marianne Vesey. Imagine my surprise. This is a Marianne Vesey painting. I think this has gone fishing or fishing trip or fishing day. Let me just take a quick peek. I will take a look. It has this name on it. Why is this so difficult for me? Marianne Vesey's the artist. Does not say, oh, the fishing lesson, and has it in about 18 different languages. So the fishing lessons, pardon me for, for not having that on the tip of my tongue. This is the Small Thoughts channel. Small Thoughts, very low thought goes into it, very low tech. If I have to think too hard about it, I don't want to do it. I want to keep things very small and enjoyable for me. So the wonderful, wonderful Marianne Bessie. And this is called uh, the fishing lesson, and indeed it is. We have... Oh my goodness, little little family. So there's a little family fishing on the bridge. There is a little boy or a girl, someone sitting on the limb there of a tree, some people chatting, um, someone playing with a little dog, geese flying across the, 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 the blue, blue sky, <laughs> to quote Neil Young, um, blue birds flying um, high across the sky. And then we've got Red Barn. Um, just some nice little glowy autumn scenes and this became autumn because I really do have some some reddish leaves in here and some trees missing some leaves and but uh, autumn even though it looks summery it's actually looking very autumn uh, fantastic quality Ravensburg this is their extra large format so the piece puzzles are a bit a bit larger matte quality great finish great snap um, saturated inks, you will not go wrong. Only drawback with the Ravensburger, not too big a deal for me, is no poster. Um, but you will be very happy with Ravensburger wherever you do and wherever you go. Okay? If you're giving that as a gift, it's for yourself. Always a very safe bet. Okay, winding down now. I think I have, I've got some three now autumn, not autumn, Halloween puzzles. And I'll start with, uh, 
a cobble hill, which I haven't done yet. So this is in this video. I have a ton more, but I wanted to get the Halloween ones in here. Okay, so this is Halloween. This is like this is a quite a popular one. This is probably one of the most popular cobble hill puzzles and Halloween puzzles. You've probably seen it everywhere on Instagram um, and all the different little puzzle forums and things like that. So this is called and it and it really deserves its spot. This is uh, an instant classic. I did this last year and I plan to do this every year. I'm looking forward to possibly doing it with some future people in my family or wolf pack that may or may not grow one day. So this is called Halloween Buddies. Look at that. How cute is it? 500 pieces by the fantastic puzzle company Cobble Hill and a cute, adorable Halloween theme by the artist Douglas Laird, who I know is Canadian and I think lives in Ontario. I think he lives pretty nearby actually and uh, this is so cute. Love it. I hope I'm right about that. Sorry, Douglas Laird. Okay, so we've got like a kind of a spooky house that looks like that house you know you're all told to stay away from as a kid and uh, you're, you kind of walk by and you're afraid to walk by even when the lights are on you're walking to school. Uh, a group of, of kids and children all playing together dressed up in a spooky little ghost, a witch, we've got ourselves a princess. Um, little dogs even come in, of course a spooky black cat, so spider, pumpkins, bats, skeletons and some little hidden little things I'll let you discover all on your own. An absolute delight to do from start to finish. Um, thank you so much Cobble Hill for this great Halloween puzzle. I recommend it for everyone. Spooky but not too spooky and uh, I loved it. Interesting enough to, to keep your, not too childish, and it's, just, it's good if you like to do puzzles in adult. And of course, oh, Cobble Hill comes with the poster, which is amazing. It's a matte, kind of a linen textured finish on the puzzle. They're what's called a random cut, which means they're kind of jiggity jaggedy and give you a bit more fun to, to do as um, some of them are some of them are more grid cut. The Buffalo are also what are called random cut, but not quite as, you don't notice it quite as much as the Cobble Hill, because you'll get some really interesting pieces with Cobble Hill and that would be on another video if I go in depth or when I go in depth on the Cobble Hill puzzles. So now I've got another Halloween puzzles and we are getting at around 20 minute mark coming to an end and this is called, oh I'm really looking forward to this one. This is Halloween Town. Look at that. Oh Halloween Town. I want to be in Halloween Town. Isn't that adorable? Okay that's Randy. Oh this is Wallerman. Well, yeah, Woolen, Woolen Man, and he is in, I think, Vermont or Indiana. I should really get to know this better. I am so sorry. I'm going to say nothing. Randy Wallerman, I love you as an artist. You, you paint beautiful, nostalgic scenes from childhood that help me bring, bring me back and connect with those times. And I get to live in this puzzle for a little while and think back on, on uh, days back when I was younger. And beautiful fall day when you're out trick-or-treating with our friends and some owls looking over, bat pumpkins, some little, oh, a little scarecrow, some bats flying around, some scarier trick-or-treaters than you'd think, some skeletons, like, oh my goodness, the drawings. One thing, I, I don't normally like people in the puzzles, but this one, he does such a great job in capturing the, the faces and the little little things. Oh, and there's a little Super Mario. So cute. I forgot about the Super Mario. Okay. So adorable. This is a portrait or a vertical puzzle, um, which sometimes is not so great for me because I have to stretch. This is Vermont uh, Puzzle Company. And I honestly think that Vermont Puzzle Company, and I have to check on this, and White Mountain are almost the same company. They look all, the, the packaging is the same. The box looks kind of the same. And the puzzle pieces look the same. I will get back to you on that on my, after I finish doing this. Um, but looking forward to doing this amazing, amazing Halloween puzzle called Halloween Town by Vermont Puzzle Company. And I will absolutely leave links if I can, if, if I have time to where you can find these. I do encourage people to use their local um, toy or puzzle store if they can um, and that's not always possible for all of us or if we can't find that one puzzle we have to have then we go straight to the online of course all right and then I've got one more last puzzle this is um bits and pieces and uh, they came with a bit of a damage box but they were very good about uh, solving that problem and at first I thought I was getting uh, you know a general store kind of puzzle it does look on first glance look at it 
cute little general store theme and and then when I got it and really took a look at it I thought oh my goodness this is actually a Halloween puzzle look at it it says right up there happy Halloween but it's I guess kind of unusual it's a daylight scene but if you really look at it you'll see a jack-o-lantern and a little black cat and a couple of little other giveaways of some uh, little creepy crawlies that normally wouldn't be there in the non-Halloween season. And then some of the scenes behind the glass of the little shop and the shopkeeper and the kids getting up to some hijinks. It looks like it's probably around like 19, I would say 1880s or something around. I don't even know if they had Halloween, had Halloween back then. But so, so, so cute. Who's the artist? Oh, Rosalind Solomon, my new bestie. I know that Rosalind and Solomon are my best friends. Um, okay, so this is the last of my puzzles, uh, part one. The next puzzle uh, video I do will be uh, mostly Cobble Hill, White Mountain, a uh, couple of spring box, and some other odds and ends that, oh, that I haven't thrown in there. So that'll be the second part, and that should be about the same length. So thank you for taking the time to come visit my Small Thoughts channel. I hope you um, enjoyed some of these fall and autumn puzzles and seeing them as much as I do uh, sharing them and doing them. I love hearing about different puzzles and puzzle brands and puzzles you think that I would like or other puzzle buddies would like so please please comment or um, come visit me on Instagram smaller smaller underscore thoughts um, and my website smallthoughts.ca so thank you so much for coming. Um, at the end of the video some people who have seen my other videos, I play music that's done by my dad. He arranges music. This is uh, Somewhere by Leonard Bernstein from West Side Story. And I'll let that continue at the end. I want to thank you all for coming to my puzzle room. Um, new puzzle buddies, uh, thank you especially. And I don't want to say old puzzle buddies, but to my the OG puzzle buddies, thank you for sticking by and visiting my website. I'm so grateful to spend time with you. Thank you all. So until next time, I'm Lisa and I'm wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts.